I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on an HP ProBook 6550B. First thing you have to do is take out all the little rubber stoppers. screw cover. Just take you a little small screwdriver, loosen off each one of these screws. And very little screws so you don't want to drop them. One thing I didn't mention or didn't show you before you start on this it's always important to unplug the power from the wall and also in this case with a laptop you need to take the battery out of the back. Of the computer. Some little keepers in there that hold it down. You want to be gentle when you're doing this because you, you want those little plastic keepers to still be in place when you put the laptop back together. You don't want to break them all off. So just work them real gently, take your time. It's really important when you're doing this that you stay right where you're trying to pull the screen apart. You don't want to get back here and yank on the corner. You'll just break your, uh, just break the uh, cover for your screen. You certainly don't want to do that. It's giving me a little trouble right here at this corner. If you have a lot of trouble, you know, sometimes you can take a, a screwdriver, just a little, just a little small screwdriver, nothing huge. Just kind of work it in there. Kind of just get a, there we go. Just a little bit of a little pry on it. It'll help it kind of pop right out of there. There is the cover. Set this aside where nobody can step on it or right here in the corner. But, uh, I need to take loose and help that uh, screen come right on out of there. Don't ever start prying and bending on these things if, they, if they're fighting against you. There's a reason. Now, once you've got it open, see this first little connection right here at the very top. Just need to very gently unplug that. Then you can go ahead and fold the rest of the screen down which allows you to get to the rest of your connections. Now as you can see on this new screen it doesn't have all of this stuff here. That's because this is the connection to the web camera. I just want to real gently just Take this loose. There's a little piece of tape here. I hope you can see that. This piece of tape there. We just uh, get that little tape off of there. Set that aside. You want to be real gentle with these. Uh, <clears throat> they're very small wires, very delicate. Little piece of plastic off of here. And that frees that connection there as well. I thought. So along the sides here, you have screws that are actually holding this screen in place. I've got a smaller screwdriver here. And this is some very little screws here. Same thing applies here as before. You sure don't want to drop these screws. So I'm going to pull these eight screws out very carefully. screen will just lift right up out of there. That's the old screen. It's broke up here in the corner. So we'll set him aside. And now we just start right back with the new screen. You have to make sure that your connections are in the right place. This is your main video connection for the screen. It's over here. 
Um, we're not going to hook that up yet because we want to go ahead and put the screws in. But you want to make sure that you're not trying to mount this screen in upside down, backwards. And, uh, there's a little catch rail on here that kind of guides it right into place. So make sure you're in there just the way you should be. What I always like to do with, with any kind of installation like this is I'll never put all four screws on one side at once. I'll put, you know, for instance, one screw here on this screen and just very gently turn this around. And I'm going to put another screw down here in this bottom corner. Be very careful when you're putting these screws in. You don't want to force them and wind up getting them cross-threaded. And you will strip out the screws or the screen, even worse. Okay, so the screen is mounted in place now. Um, first thing we want to do here is go ahead and I, I know that you guys want to see this but I have to have light here to be able to make this connection you have to make certain that this connection is properly made so this was our webcam it came up just like so and it's got a little bit of you know, some some glue, some residue of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what they use, but it's just, you know, it's enough that once we get everything put back into place, it should be okay. So, fold this back. Again, this is the connection for this right here. It goes right up in here. It's what takes care of your uh, webcam. When you're putting everything back together, make sure that your screen in the right place here. Make sure and get. Uh, yeah, I've got mine a little too far over. I'm gonna have to bring them back this way. So. point in time we are essentially ready to put the cover back on now we're virtually back to where we started minus the screws you happen to be one who is a little nervous about your screen installation now we're trying to put your battery back in. Push the power button. And we now have a freshly installed new screen. And there you go. That is the installation of an HP ProBook 6550B matte screen. This is the high depth, um, the 1300 by 900, I think it was. I can't remember. But simple as that. Thank you. Have a good day.